uh, very proud to be able to, to be in a new league and, and play well versus a team that's very proud and hats off to Butler. You know, we had no idea what to expect. And frankly, I don't think we're going to know much of anything to expect for probably the first year. So we have a lot of a lot of growing to do. But we were sitting at breakfast this morning, and I turned to our coaches and I said, you know what I'm most excited about besides the game is whatever happens in the game, now we get to go home and watch every game that happened in league tonight, and we have an actual data point that is countable, that it's not just guessing out of thin air. Uh, hats off to the university for its first Division One win. I think that's pretty awesome. Anyone who knows anything about the move knows that um, – it takes a whole lot of people in order to do this. And the focus is going to be very acutely on the head football coach and the team, but it is so much deeper and broader than that. So just proud to be able to display the effort we did for the university and hope that we can continue to grow on it. That was that today was an indicator of that. Now, certainly the league is vast. And as we talked about, Dean, a month ago, the diversity of the league, not just locationally, but in terms of recruiting because of that location, makes it so all over the place, right? So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to learn a lot as it goes. But it was it, it's been a long time around here since we just had no clue what to expect. And trust me. Uh, I would not trade the leverage-based position that we had been in because we earned that. And we worked really hard for that. But there is, there is a novelty and a romance, believe it or not, to just being uncertain of what's going to go on. And then it's all on, on you and the guys. And that was pretty neat today. I think so. Um, you know, I'm going to wait to see the film before we comment on the specifics. Here's what I think Kay did really well. He uh, kept the offense moving. F and don't even get, don't start on game management. Don't even start on that because that's not at all what I'm talking about. But he keeps the game moving in rhythm. When the chains are not always there, so for instance, you saw it twice today where, where the play was not there on a third down. Well, one was a third down, one was a fourth down. And he was able to pick it up with his feet. Like, those are things that we're going to have to do if we want to try and survive in a league like the Pioneer League. And he did a really good job. Interesting note, and Gene's going to have to correct me on this, but, and I never even realized it till our walkthrough yesterday where we always finish with Hail Mary to the quarterback's throwing arm. That might have been the first time that we ever started a lefty in 150 games at the University of St. Thomas. Ronnie Jones won a couple coming in in relief. But that might have been the very first time we ever started a lefty. I thought that was kind of neat. Oof, well, there's a lot, right? So we played 30 guys. Last week we played 31 guys in the rhythm and flow. And, again, that's another thing that we're going to have to do in order to stay where we need to, to stay and develop the guys we need to develop to go where we want to go. Um, but – as Coach K said, I mean, Wally did an amazing job. Um, he said our best defense in the first half was the offense, right? And so it, 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 the defense, the way that we still didn't look tight. We looked loose, and I, uh, our fits were not tight. I wasn't happy with the convergence on the quarterback. I wasn't happy with the tightness of the run fits. Now, credit Butler, because Butler did a really good job, especially when number one was in the game, of flattening everything out and using all 100, you know, and 60 feet from sideline to sideline. So that makes the fits a little looser. But we're still nowhere near defensively where we have to fit on the pass rush. I thought we might have been a little too cute with some of our posturing uh, of, of pressure in the first half. But, you know, we were only on the field on defense 20 plays. And I think, it, you know, if you can go a game and be on the field 40 plays, that generally bodes pretty well for you, I think. But hats off to the defensive coaching staff. I just think it's – and it's not just a fluke. It's not just one game. We're building week by week. And we're starting to get there. Uh, well, I mean, it's tough to quantify, right? I can say lots. Um, uh, I'm sorry, what's that? Yeah, no question about it. Like, for instance, being able to see how you hold up versus someone who is X amount of 
well, in one, some case, feet bigger than you, you know, or, or pounds heavier than you, and it allows to, you to see, hey, can those same schemes hold up? But without trying to be too goofy, I think the best thing it did for us last week, uh, the best takeaway, was it just showed that our team has a lot of fight. And I get it. It's trite. I understand. But like, our kids don't quit. We might get beat. We might get outmanned. I might get outcoached. But our kids don't quit. And that ain't ever going to change as long as I'm here. What else? Yeah, and it might have been 97 weeks, I think Gene said, right? That was awesome. I just was talking to Corbu on the radio, and I said it. there's only two times that in scenarios where I felt a similar feeling, and that's either December playoff games at home when it's getting hot. I don't mean the temperature. I mean the competition's getting hot, and everybody comes back and homecoming. And um, today – was a very homecoming-ish feel. I mean, if I was just to count off the top of my head, I would say 150 alumni just that played for us in the last couple decade, right? Not to mention people that all the way back to Tom Paschal. Tom Paschal, our honorary captain today, 94 years old. How awesome is that story, right? Captain the 1948 Cigar Bowl team. And here's an interesting note, and I don't think this should go unnoticed. He came out to practice yesterday, okay? And on the Jumbotron, I have a picture in my office of him at the stairs in the old O'Shaughnessy Stadium that our old alums would remember, our, our old O'Shaughnessy Fieldhouse. And it was him with his guys in 1948 in black and white, smoking cigars because they were in the Cigar Bowl, right? Probably can't do that nowadays, right? And there were nine guys in that picture, and that was a senior class. And I put it up on the Jumbotron. We put it up on the Jumbotron. He started tearing up. And I said, hey, tell me about these guys. And like that, he rambled off every single one of the guys without hesitation. I think that speaks to the depth and the breadth of the emotion that football evokes on a campus. And that's what you saw out there today as you saw, I mean, a fan base, our, our students, amazing. I mean, they, they came and they stayed the entire time and they were cheering and it was awesome. Caruso's crew, the, the seminarians, they were amazing. And the Butler fans, all of it really fed into um, something that we're going to need. Like this is a, this is a big poll, right? And we're going to need every person with every opportunity to pull in the right direction. And the fan base today was awesome. But seeing those alumni today, I mean, that makes me tear up for sure. And uh, their pride was on display. And I, I hope that we did them proud in how we played. This is what it's like all the time. Every single day it's like this. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, it, had, it had a different feel. Probably because of the absence, I think more so than the enormity of the moment of Division One, and not to downplay that, that was huge, right? But, I mean, Dad said absence makes a heart grow fonder, and he's right. And you're away from something that you love, I mean, flipping love, for 97 weeks, right? You're going to want to fight real hard for it. And that's what I think our guys did today. The, the, the feeling of having support, and I'm not just talking about support of the, the team. Alumni support, campus support, administration support. I mean, there was so much that went into that. And I think President Sullivan and Vice President Phil Eston and everybody else just did an amazing job getting everybody to pull in the same direction. So uh, I hope that's what it feels like and we can build on that moving forward. But uh, it was neat to be back. It was neat. Do you mind? I don't. I couldn't even tell you. So what? What were the? Do you know who the people were? Yeah, it was um, Tom Loeffler, and then um, Jeff Lewis, Maxi Zimmerman on the yeah. snare. Yep. Another one in the first half as well. Uh, you know, this senior class has been through the ringer, right? As as our country has, and it has not been an easy time for anybody. And our football team is is not uh, absolving of of that. I mean, these seniors. Um, 29 of them, 10 of which lost their natural senior year last year to COVID, uh, have given part of their heart and 
mind and some cases part of their body to the University of St. Thomas and, and the good of that. But it's not just those guys that you see score. It's things like that guy right there, Ryan O'Connor, who made his first start today. And Ryan, how, how many years you been here, Ryan? Four years. You know what that equates to? That equates to about 425 practices. 425 practices before you get the first opportunity to make a start. That's what this program is about. Cade, how many years you been here? Yeah, first start, right? So as long as we're willing to give in of ourselves to the greater good, like those guys do, I really don't know who scored the touchdowns today. I know Maxie did because he did it on my favorite play. But besides that, I'm just really proud of the entire senior class in totality. It's not been an easy time, but it's been a worthy time. And I think our guys have come through it stronger, and I'm grateful for that. That's why I love them. Are you good? Congratulations on your first St. Thomas game. I hope it's not your last. Sincerely, all right?